Hello and welcome back to the adventures of the Good Intent. The boat's called Good Intent because I had every intention of finishing it. There you go. Right. It's been a while since I've uh, I posted. I can't actually remember um, how far I got to, but I've been doing quite a lot. But I've not really had time to film it. Um, so if I tell you a little bit about um, what it was, she came from Liverpool. She's 30 foot, 10 foot beam. Nobody actually knows what she was. And someone was trying to convert her into a, sort of a narrow boat, liverboard boat. No. So anyway, I got her down. She had an old engine in. She had a bit of superstructure. I ripped all the superstructure off. Engine still in. Um, and uh, I'm getting old. And I don't like getting wet. And I don't like heeling over. So I didn't go for a sailboat. I want a boat that I can go up and down the local estuary where I live. I can go from here in Missley, Manantry, up to Harwich, maybe up the Stewart to Ipswich, round to the, uh, the Nays, see some seals. That's it, that's good enough for me. That's what I wanted. That's, that's all I wanted my boat for. I don't want to go across the world That'd be nice, it'd be nice, but if I did that, I'd probably do that in something like a Nordhaven, but I need to win the lottery for that, but I, that ain't gonna happen. Might, but, it ain't. but if you're listening Nordhaven, I'd like one, but anyway. So basically what I wanted, I wanted one of these like little trawler boats. I love trawlers, that, that's, that's my thing, that's what I love, that's what I've been researching and think. so I thought, oh, right, I can do that, I'm built, I can't afford one, I'll build one. So that's what I'm trying to do. So she's like a little, uh, she's got a walkway on one side, uh, full beam this side behind me. Yeah. So she's got a walkway, actually, I'll show you. She's got a walkway through through that door. Uh, I'll give you a scan. There's going to be a galley over there where I was just sitting down. There's going to be um, seating that's going to pull out dob double berth. I've got a, um, you come out the back, the cockpit, you can see I'm up, I've got whoop, boop, 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 stairs up to the flybridge, and walkway and covered access around, oh, and as I step in, da, 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 I've got me sloping back windows, Taller style, okay. That's going to be my helm. Oh, over. Where's my helm? Yeah, helm over there. Let's see. I've got to have a toilet and bathroom. Let's see. Rather than do that, let's just walk around. You can you can probably see better than I can. I've got in here. I've got a doorway there. It's going to be in there. Toilet, shower. It's quite big. I've got all my stuff in there at the moment. Down a step. Down a step. Come down this way and then into this room. Master bedroom. Whether I do any sleeping or not is another matter. Ooh. Right, this, these, well, they come from the yard owner because he had an old boat that he was, that was all stacked on the side. The same with the, the port lights. Uh, let's just tell you a little bit about that. that. That little step there is off the rest of them steps. They come off a yacht that was moored down the road that was broken up, so that was on a pallet, so I have had them. These windows, they come from um, an old barge that was parked here that the owner had, uh, the owner of the yard. These were on his barge as well, so I made them into uh, doors. Uh, these windows, I've actually, I got the windows before I decided this is what I was gonna do to them. So obviously they denoted the shape of what this is gonna be. Um, and my helm, so it's gonna be like a little trawler yacht. So that's where I'm at, at to at the moment. Still got lots and lots of work. Um, this boat was like really, really cheap. I'd say really cheap. Seven, it cost me 700 pounds. 
and £700 to get a ship down from Liverpool. So £1,400. I know you can get sailboats and bits and pieces and all sorts of things. All I wanted was a hull. The hull shape was what I wanted. No one knows what the hull is. Uh, I've had a few few suggestions, but it was the shape I wanted. It was what I want, and, and this this is me. Other people have got other ideas, and then that's fine. All I would do is I would give you just a couple of tips when you if you're thinking about getting a project boat or buying a boat. If the engine don't work, it's not worth anything. Well, hundreds, low hundreds. Okay, if so, if something for boats up for three thousand, four thousand pounds, and you can't see that engine working, walk away because it's going to cost you at least four or five thousand pounds to put any sort of engine back in there. Yeah, unless you're a, a motor mechanic uh, or you're a whiz on an engine, you've got to pay someone to get the old engine out. You've got to pay for even a sec even a second hand engine nowadays. Mar Marinized is two thousand pounds. But even then, you don't need if it's good. So if you're going to put a brand new one in, you could be looking five, six thousand pounds. Then you've got to pay someone to put it in. So if the engine don't work, walk away or don't pay any money for the boat. If they give you the boat for peanuts, then you've saved yourself the cost of an engine, haven't you? But you can't buy a boat and then put the cost of the engine on the top or factor the cost of a new engine on the top of the boat and then think, oh, I want to pay £5,000 for this boat. New engine, £5,000. Is that both worth £10,000? Most of the time, the answer will be no. So, that would be my first advice. Make sure the engine works. Obviously, if you're going to go for a sailboat, just make sure the sails work, yeah? Because um, you can obviously sail without an engine, but an engine's good because you could just probably put an outboard on the back. But for me, for a motorboat, engine work, or project boat, if the engine works, there you go cost of storing a boat is another thing you've got to factor that in with me this is my second year here obviously not in the water if i could get this on a swing and mooring somewhere uh, that dries out i think the club up the road they're really really cheap yeah i'm yeah yeah it, it's cheap. where i am at the moment because i'm in a boat yard yeah i'm having to pay uh money which is which is fine, which is all right. I knew that. I knew that before I I started, and I I factored that in. I mean, I don't chuck a lot of money at this boat. I mean, most of the timber has come from projects I had left over. Um, uh, and then obviously, what I do is I save my pennies up. I don't go down a pub. Well, I don't go down a pub at all, really, to be honest. Don't smoke anymore. So all of that sort of spare money every time, every now and again, I'll go and buy some. But my I'm. I'm to the stage now where my superstructure is done. I'm finished. I've got no more building to do. I've got loads of little bits of fiberglass to do. I've got some tabbing to do. I've got some maybe, I've got some ply work to do, but it's not structure. I haven't got any structure to build. I've done it. I'm quite happy with the way she looks. I'm quite happy with the structure. I'm just now trying to finish her off. And I'm basically, what I'm trying to do is get her to the stage where I've got two little more holes to do in a hole to fill in because what I did do is um, I cut the through holes that were in this boat were they were like uh, like twisty someone had you know like the twisty red cappy things then they was they weren't proper through holes uh, and that they were they were pig to get out so what I had to do in the end is cut quite big holes well I say big holes four or five inches because i had to cut all the way around them to get them out because as i was starting to either drill them out or bang them i was in danger of cracking i'd rather cut them so i didn't want to crack the hole at all i wanted to cut them out so i ended up cutting them out um obviously chamfering the engines down and then fiberglassing in I, I, to be honest i've only just got i've only just got around to doing that because when she was uh, without the superstructure on the first bit of advice I got from the boat owner was to say, put a hole in it, boy, to let the water out. And obviously he was, he's, he's right. So anyway, the holes are done. I've got two little ones that I put in just to drain the water out that I've got to do. And I'll do that next week. Um, but once I can get this, I'm trying to concentrate on clearing up, getting some of the bits I, I need to d get done. I'm trying to sort the steering out at the moment, but I'm trying to eBay something that I want. Uh, once I can get the steering in, I've got the rudder, the rudder's there, 
behind that piece of wood, behind that bucket there. Yeah. I've got to put the rudder back in. Um, I've got to get steering helm because none of that, none of that come with the boat. If I can get the steering done, I want to get her picked up. I want to just plonk her in the water. And I want to see how she sits in the water because I've added, I think I've added quite a lot of weight. I want to see where the new water line is and I can mark all that off. And also I can sit, see whether she, how she sits in the water. Because when I go to put batteries in and water tanks and everything like that, I don't want to be sitting in front of a computer or trying to work out math. For me, the easiest way for me to work out how to do is to, I've got to see how she sits. You know, if she's sitting down like that, I know that I've got a problem. If she sits like that, I know she's got a problem. If I put her in the water and she keeps going down that way, and the water keeps going that way, I know I've got a really big problem. Hopefully that won't happen. But what I'm going to try and do is try and just get at the next step with the helm. Um, I probably won't even have the engine going. Uh, but I just want the helm done so I can steer her so the water's, she's watertight. And then my next video is going to probably be in... Well, I might put another, if I get on in the inside quite well, I, I'll, um, I'll put another video on. Um, but I'm not going to show you how I do every every little thing because there's loads of videos online showing you how to do something. So I'm just trying to explain to you what my project is, how I'm going to do it. I'm not going to show you how I do the lights. I'm not going to show you how I do um, the bits. I might show you when I come to plug the toilets in. I'm going to work that out, um, but my next real video is going to be. I need to get the helm sorted out. I need to get the rudder on. Uh, I've got to get the. I can't. Remember, is it called rudder stock thing? I, terminology escapes me. But the thing that protects the rudder anyway. I've got to get one of them made up. Then my next video will probably be be in probably about two or three months' time when I'm going to pay the crane to pick me up, put me in the water, take all their measurements. Do the test and then I'll film that and then I'll put that up but I won't do it I'm not going to do a weekly video I'm not going to do a monthly video I do it at, when I'm ready the stage so then you can look back at these go blah 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 oh yeah that was interesting that's nice or not all right okay, bye